Holden's factory team is counting the cost after a savage last two rounds. The fallout is three destroyed cars and a repair bill of more than $1 million. But it's meant Garth Tander will get a brand new car to race in Tasmania this weekend. Repairing cars hasn't been an issue at Holden Racing Team this past month. Building new ones has been the norm. After a car crunching and costly past two events, with the damage bill topping seven figures. It's not great, but um, I don't know what the number is. And, and to be honest, I don't think I really want to know what the number is. It's remarkable the team has four healthy cars to go racing with in Tasmania after three were sent to the grave amid a horror run of luck. When you run four cars, then obviously you increase your chances by four of having dramas. And, um, you know, obviously with Fabs's rollover in the Bundy car at Bathurst and then Will's drama late in the race at Bathurst, then my drama at the Gold Coast, you know, it's not what a team needs. Oh, that is a big hit. Garth Tander's last start stack on the Gold Coast deemed so bad, building a new car to race this weekend was going to be quicker than repairing the damaged one. His pedals only finally fitted this morning. While there's still three events remaining in 2010, there's already a seat vacant alongside Tander next year with HRT. One target, championship leader, and Ford driver, James Courtney. Look, to be honest, whoever ends up being my teammate, I look forward to working with them, but I don't know who that may be at this stage, and certainly I know the team are in talks with, with many people, not just James. But 10 News believes Courtney will remain a Ford driver. The V8 field sets sail tonight for Tasmania. Tim Hodges, 10 News.